Would it not be amazing if we finally found a reason for running injuries? Well, a recent article looked at just this. Wanna know more? Let's go! Hey, what's up runners? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at a recent article published about runners and specifically runners training for a marathon. And not just any marathon, it was the New York City Marathon, one of the most iconic marathon races in the world. So the purpose of this study was pretty straightforward. They wanted to see how different training patterns and workloads affected the illness and injuries of marathon runners. The researchers monitored 735 participants over the course of 16 weeks prior to the marathon. They divided this period in four four-week training quarters. To gather the data they used, Strava, and you damn well know they got all the data because if it's not on Strava, it just didn't happen. Period. Facts. And this is where it gets very interesting. They use something called the acute chronic workload ratio. They found out that runners who increased their training volume and specifically by 1.5 or more were more likely to get injured. Shocking. I know. Increasing your training volume too much and you get injured. But to put it simply, if you increased your training volume month over month with more than 50% compared to the previous month, you have a much, much higher chance of getting injured. The study found that runners who got injured had more of these high acute chronic workload ratio days compared to those who didn't. And then those runners who got injured ended up running less in the third quarter than those who didn't get injured. On race day itself, the incidence of injury was 16%. And during the entire training period, around 40% of runners reported an injury. Yikes. And additionally, around 27% of people get sick somewhere during their training days. So what does this mean for us mortals trying to set our next marathon PB? Well, it reinforces the importance of gradual increase in your training load. Sudden spikes can be detrimental and set you back weeks. Here are some quick tips to get you injury free to the start of your next marathon. Increase your weekly mileage, no more than 10%. I've made a video about this, which I'll link in the description about how you should increase your training volume. You can monitor your acute chronic workload ratio and not get it above 1.3. This basically means a 30% increase month over month, since a 50% increase was giving you a very high risk of injury. And third, the dreadful, incorporate some rest days and listen to your body. I know, I know we all want to train more, basically. Sometimes we just need rest. Remember, the goal is to get to the start line fit and fresh and not just log as many miles as possible. Train smart and you'll run better and more consistently in the long run. And yes, I'm also saying this to myself. Lessons hopefully learned. That's all for today, runners. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. It helps boost the channel's views and I can bring out more content to you in the coming weeks. So, see you guys in the next one. Bye.